What is up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Right here is our B20 engine and this is going to be a several part series of us building this over the next about month, month and a half and you're definitely going to want to stay tuned to this one. Woohoo! Alrighty y'all, so like I said, this is going to be a several part series of us replacing the engine in our DA Integra here. This is our track car. Um, shouldn't even say track car, it's our road race car uh, that we run in the Street Tuner 2 class. Uh, we're currently running a 1.8 liter LS VTEC motor and where we're at weight wise, it's a power to weight ratio class. I cannot get my car down light enough with the 1.8 liter so the next best thing is to go to a bigger size motor like a B20 where I can run it be a heavier weighted car um, and not have to worry about pulling literally every single thing out of my car to get down to weight. So like I said we're going to be pulling this LS VTEC that we had uh, full bore build for us uh, about three years ago probably. 195 horsepower, little underpowered for the weight we're running. Uh, I believe 2560 with me in it is roughly where we're at. Um, with the two liter, we need to be basically 2,500 pounds. With the 1.8, we could 1.8 we could be all the way down to 2194, which is basically not possible. So um, we're actually just about to load um, this engine up and take it down to full bore, and he's going to go through the entire bottom end for us. And we're going to do some pretty sick parts. We're not doing this crazy expensive, um, but we're going to have some pretty pretty decent stuff on there. Should be pretty stout. We're shooting for hopefully 240, 250 wheel. So uh, we'll get that thing loaded up. Parts are supposed to show up this week, so I'll show you what we got there, and uh, we'll kind of run with it. This is our B20 Z2. This came out of a 99 to 01 CRV. So this is the second gen B20. She's a little dirty, a little crusty, but uh, let me tell you what, this thing will look real nice once we get it back from Lee at full bore in Dodgeville. He does a great job doing these bottom ends for us. We have a lot of track time on the DA over there. So pretty, uh, pretty stoked to get this one back from him. All right, so we have our B20 Z2 block loaded up. Um, if you're building a B20Z, like if you're not gonna run the stock pistons, it doesn't matter if you go with the B or the Z, but the Zs do technically make a little bit more power, the second gen versus the first gen. So if you're gonna keep it stock, go with the Z. If you're gonna put pistons, rods, all that stuff in it, you might as well just do either one because it doesn't really matter. But uh, biggest thing when you pick them up is Definitely inspect the uh, the cylinders, make sure there's no cracks, that sort of thing. We're gonna have them go through this bad girl, make sure she all looks good, and we'll uh, see y'all when we get there. So just to kind of reiterate, what you know, what we did before versus now, um, the LSV Tech we had, we had Lee build that like three years ago, but it was built for boost, so it's not high compression or anything like that. Uh, but then we pulled the turbo kit off when we decided to go wheel to wheel racing. So we're just a little underpowered um, for our weight. There's a, uh, a couple kids or a couple guys in our um, class that have CRXs. And they're a little over probably like 220 to 250 horse. So we're a little underpowered at 195 with our weight and stuff. So I'm hoping with this B20 VTEC build that we're doing, it'll get us right where we need to be. Um, I have a friend doing the head also, the porting and um, doing the like final assembly on that and making sure the, the, um, the cams are uh, degreed, the, what do they call it, the gap between the pistons, the piston to valve clearance is good, that sort of thing, because um, we don't, we don't want to blow this thing up. We're going to be running some, some stage three cams and when those get into, I'll, I'll show you what, what we're gonna run for those. So that'll be kind of neat. Um, I've never ran this brand of camshaft before. So if you guys have, um, I guess let me know your thoughts too. We'll show that later in this video. But uh, yeah, we're gonna drive down, drop this thing off, and hopefully have it back in a few weeks. But in the meantime, let's drive and hopefully those parts show up here. <laughs> 
All right, y'all, we made it to Lee's shop here in uh, Dodgeville. We just uh, unloaded the block, dropped that off to him. He's hoping to have it done in a couple weeks. So we'll uh, fast forward to when these parts show up and hopefully we got everything so we can keep the ball rolling. All right, y'all, so it's been about a week now. We just got pretty much every part we need to get the block and the head done. The only thing we have not gotten yet is cams um haven't ordered those yet that's going to be probably the final thing i do but i'm going to show you kind of what this build is going to entail and mind you this is about a 250 horsepower build that we're doing so you can go crazier than this but this is a pretty standard b20 vtech build that'll get you right around 250 horse all right, so uh, Lee's got the block all cleaned up, and uh, what is it you're thinking about doing to the exterior of the block to make her look a little spicy? We're going to powder coat it. Put a clear powder coat over it, and that way the gas and oils don't stain the aluminum. That should be pretty sick. Yeah, pretty excited, and hopefully we'll send some more videos here, and you guys will be able to see the build process. Woo uh, we'll dive into those parts right now. All right, so I'm going to start pulling things out, let you guys see. So first thing here, this is, and this might kind of give you an idea of what cams we're going to be going with, but this is the Brian Crower valve train kit. So this right here is their steel retainer kit. Um, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to kind of redo this whole build was titanium retainers should not be in a race car. I know some of you are probably going to give me some shit for it, but titanium really wears out fast from the springs doing the spinning doing the spinning that's a good word literally they're they're spinning like this on there and they actually will wear through the titanium and they get really thin and then guess what you drop a valve so on a race car drag racing probably not as big a deal because you're not racing for 30 40 minutes wide open off the rev limit or you're only racing for 10 seconds so yeah, even on a, a daily driven road car, the amount of miles and time you're gonna have on it, it's, it's not a good idea to, to do titanium. The trade-off power-wise is so minor that it's, it's literally not worth it. So this is the retainer kit that you need to put some big old honky cams in your B-Series. So just a little, little learn you lesson there. <laughs> We got a Toyo, this is the timing belt tensioner, so it's the OEM one. Uh, a lot cheaper if you use this part number right there versus trying to order one from Honda. They get like a hundred and something dollars. You can get this one for like 40 roughly, and it's the exact same thing. Um, we have our uh, valve locks from Brian Crower also, the keepers. That's the part number for that. So that'll be a combo with that. They work with those retainers. Uh, we got a new VTEC solenoid gasket, and I believe that's an oil tube pickup, uh, or no, that's an oil pump O-ring maybe. I can't remember, to be honest with you. One of the gaskets, <laughs> or O-rings I should say. Uh, here's a new timing belt tensioner spring for this. That's a part number from Speed Factory. Um, that's another tube pickup gasket. All right, uh, and then we got the dowel. This is the little dowel that goes in the head. Um, not one of the mounts the head to the block, but one of the cam cap dowels. That's what that is. All right, getting into a little bit more juicier stuff here. Um, this is the Speed Factory kit that I bought, and I'll show you what came in the kit. But yeah, this is the 84 and a half millimeter um, head gasket from them. So I kind of probably tell them what size pistons we're gonna be going with. So that's that. Um, and then with that kit, when I ordered it, it came with this also. So this is the head gasket part number. And then this is the kit part number here. All right, so this is the LSV Tech kit, which also is the B20 kit. Comes with the line down in here comes with the sandwich plate comes with a tap comes with all your fittings you need plugs all that sort of stuff 
So that's the LS VTEC B20 VTEC um, kit. All right, and then some of this other stuff here I got from Valex Racing. He has really good prices and kits on this stuff, but I went with the Gates um, timing belt kit. So it's the racing one. Uh, I like to run them on, on all my B-Series. Uh, the NPW water pump from him also. So we run that with it. And then here we have a new rear main, and this one got a little messed up, but uh, I believe that is the water pipe O-rings for him. Package got a little screwed up, but yeah, the water pipe that goes on the back of the block is what those are. And then in here, we have our bronze valve guides. These are the exhaust here, that part number. And then here's the intake part number for that. So bronze guides, I guess they have a little bit better taper too for like ported heads. So you get a little bit better flow. So that's, that's pretty much the main reason that uh, we went with the bronze ones versus like an OEM style. They're just supposed to be a little bit, flow a little bit better for the, uh, like with the ported heads. So hopefully that's true. That's what I've been told. So, and then uh, right in here, we have some valve seals. There's the one and there's the other. Also, we went with the ACL uh, race bearing kit for the rods, the cranks, and then the thrust washers here. So that's uh, the ones that we went with for that. Pretty much look it up online, almost every place sells it. Uh, we're not doing a CSS or sleeves. We're just going to go with the Super Tech block guard. Um, so this one's made for a B20. So you can technically either weld this in or use Loctite. We'll probably go with the Loctite method on this. Um, so yeah. Then we have our ARP studs. So we're going that route. Going to do some studs. You can, if you're not boosting it, you can go with OEM um, uh, bolts for the head bolts. And we're going to be doing uh, just reusing the OEM uh, crank bolts to don't do studs on the Hondas. They over tighten and you can, they're a one time use. You will have to replace your block. So go with OEM crank bolts. Do not go with studs. They're not repeatable. You take it apart. You will not be able to put it back together again. You'll have a tight crank or super loose. So go with that. Um, and then we have a, the Felpro steel uh, oil pan gasket. And then, a little more juicy stuff. This is a Skunk 2 um, intake spacer, the thermal one. And then now the real juicy stuff. So you guys really wanna see where the power happens. Well, kind of, not really with the rods, but um, this is the rods we are going with. They are SCAT. I run these in the car currently, and I really like them, and they're pretty cost-effective too. So they're an H-beam style, like them, they work good. So very, very nice. And you don't see a ton of people running scat stuff in Hondas, but I've had very good luck with this car with them in it. So on our way to 250 horse there. And then this is where the magic happens. So as you can see, this is kind of a speed factory somewhat build. The only thing we didn't go with was their rods because they were more money versus the scat. So these are the pistons we are going with. Pretty cool. Apparently you can run these pistons on the OEM rods too, which is kind of interesting that they allow full floating or press fit style with these. So kind of kind of cool there. So these are their B20 uh High compression type R pistons, they call them. So we'll pull them out of the box so you guys can see those. All right, so pulling these out, you got your rings on top, you got your wrist pin, you got your clips, and then you got your fancy dancy pistons. So I know they use some special process to make these. I would assume they're still a cast piston, but they're definitely machined very nice. I mean, they look like they'd be 
a forge, but I'm pretty sure they're still cast. But they're supposed to be very, very strong. And as you can see, it is a high compression piston. It's got real nice deep valve pockets because we are going to be running some stage three cams in this. And as you've probably been able to tell, we're going to be running some Brian Crower stage three cams. They're NA cams. Um, I know a lot of people do the uh, Skunk 2 ones, but I know uh, Speed Factory just did their build, um, the, uh, their big B20 build recently, and they use the Skunk 2 uh, stage two or stage three cams on that. So yeah, we're gonna go with some Brian Crower ones. My engine guy really likes them. He road races, his kid road races. They seem to be pretty good. So I like their, their products. So yeah, we're gonna give that a shot. And then back over to here, we went with the ACL slash Orbit pump. They call them Orbit. I think that's the, the, the style or type or, I don't know, it's kind of a new thing that they added, but this is the part number for that. So if you see Orbit, it is the ACL pump. So they do come black, um, pretty nice looking. Uh, and I didn't know this, but it actually comes with the crank seal, the timing seal, oil seal, whatever you want to call it, installed. And it also comes with the oil tube, or no, sorry, it comes with the O-ring for here, and it comes with the pickup gasket in there. You can see it, that paper one. So you will, if you order this pump, you will not need the oil tube pickup. So I didn't need to order one. I didn't know what came with it. It didn't say it in the description. So just kind of know that, save you a few bucks. You don't need to order the pickup tube uh, paper gasket. It, it does come with that. So some more like kind of info with those pistons uh, as far as like compression ratio and stuff goes. So we're gonna be reusing our PR3 B16A JDM, JDM B16A uh, head. With the PR3 head and those pistons at 84 millimeters, it's supposed to be around 12, three to one. So we'll probably be right around with being the head's been cut a couple times now, I'm pretty sure. Probably right around like 12 and a half to one. So we're probably gonna either run like 100 or maybe 110 octane race fuel in it. Not sure yet, but 12 and a half to one compression. So not crazy, but it is definitely up there. This build right here is around 10 and a half to one with flat top pistons that we did. So uh, yeah, it's uh, gonna be fun. I'm actually really excited. Hopefully we can get in at King Motorsports for a tune coming up this fall before the October race. We got a lot going on. I need to drive uh, this weekend those parts down to Lee at full bore so he can get that done. He's hoping by September 12th he'll have the block done and then we gotta get the head and the block to our guy that's gonna be doing the porting and the final assembly and degreeing the cams and stuff. So should be sick. Um, hopefully get those cams ordered soon too. So this is part one of, uh, of the B20 VTEC 250 horsepower build. So if you could guys, please like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and we will see y'all on the next one. Woohoo!